check this bad boy out. The class of 1966. Honda CD175. Guys, this bike's 56 years old. Almost 60 years old. It sounds a lot bigger than the 175, doesn't it? It does. It sounds crisp. It's got the, the twin dual exhaust megaphone mufflers on it, on the original head pipes. Definitely a sporty little machine. Just been gone through by our techs here and the detail department. Those are our new dual megaphone mufflers, brand spanking new. We just put those two on there. I believe the paint is the original paint on it. It's got some patina, as you'd expect for 56 years old. But it looks pretty good. Has a center stand and the side stand, the headlight and tail light works. Do, do the turn signals work? Even the turn signals work. Typical Honda quality, huh? Tail light too. 56 years old. And the horn, oh my God. Original chrome on the gas tank, original paint. Engine looks excellent. The chrome on the rims is still there. I'll go over the service order with you real quick. We uh, cleaned the carburetor. It had been sitting for a while, so I had to clean, clean and rebuild the carburetor, clean the air filter, rejetted the carb for the dual exhaust by upping the main jet, two sizes in the Pilot 5. Uh, went through the bike, aired up the tires, lubed up the throttle assembly, put a new battery in it, Drain the fuel out of the tank, put VP non-ethanol fuel in it, install the mufflers, change the oil, and put a new gold chain on it. That's about all it needed. And uh, low miles, 10,000 miles, and fired it up. The guy's been ripping it around here for about a week uh, around the shop. Everybody seems to like to ride it. So it's uh, finally coming up for sale this week. Went to the detail shop. They steam cleaned it, hand washed it, degreased it, cleaned the tires, the sprocket, the seat, the grips. They touched up the frame, the side covers. Uh, the side cover was cracked on it, and they did some kind of a plastic, uh, this this um, fiberglass cover. It's got some kind of a um, uh, plastic weld type super glue uh, holding it together there. Uh, it's functional, not not that pretty, but it's functional and it's original. You can replace that side cover if you wanted to, probably buy one on eBay for 50 bucks, but the engine was uh, also clean, polished, and the side covers you can see were repainted. The chrome headers were polished. The uh, spark plugs are new. The um, wheels were polished, the exhaust was polished, the gas tank was polished and as you can see the original paint's faded on the top here and on the top of the tank but it is original with 10,000 miles on it uh, and everything seems to work. What, what are your thoughts Bill? Ken this is a good running bike I enjoyed riding it you know shifts through the gears real nicely the brakes work good and I like the way it looks it's kind of the end of the old era for Honda really with the valance fender on the front and uh, you know the big old side covers with the chrome sides and the tanks you know th this bike is kind of the end of that era. Honda, that, this is their iconic look with the, the wing and the, the chrome sides. This I think is the last year they made these. And this is the last year for the CD175. It's got a single down tube frame, whereas uh, the earlier models had a pressed steel frame and the engine hung out. There was, uh, the engine was a stressed member. This is, this is the balls. It's got better handling, 16 inch wheels, easy turning, easy steering, good, uh, nice low seat height, great learner bike. You know, go down to get a loaf of bread bike. That's what we would call these bikes back in the day. Yeah, a real cool machine, though. You know, definite. Uh, it's a head turner because who even knew that a CD175 existed, right? Not until this year. I just found out. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's our second one. We had a yeah. blue one, too. We bought at Ricerama. Right, right. Yeah, and this bike is, uh, it's a good runner. You know, and, uh, I would like to own this myself. It's got, I'll bet you it gets close to 100 miles to the gallon. And it's got a pretty decent-sized tank, too. You cruise all day long. For sure. Looks like the fuel cock was replaced too along with the fuel line. Right, one good thing about these bikes, it's a twin cylinder with a single carb and they stay in tune longer and uh, they're easier to tune. So, you know, it's just one carburetor uh, service in both cylinders. Nothing to synchronize, just get on and go, right? No sync, just get and go, that's for sure. Inside of the tank's nice and clean. It looks like that was uh, professionally cleaned and sealed at one point. Probably before we got it, but. Yep. I can't believe the turn signals never going to work on it. <laughs> this is going to be 60 years old in Honestly. three years. 60, 6 zero. Can you imagine that? Right. Wow. Yeah, amazing. And the original seat and seat cover, so it's never really seen a lot of hard use. Of. You know, if, if the side cover's got a little crack in it, well, that's just a cosmetic issue. I think the bike's, you know, mechanically is very sound. Yeah, it's just yeah. A, a cosmetic cover. You don't even really need that. Right, right. Indeed. It just looks sure. good. Yeah, yeah, and it has that bark. Those little shorty, uh, short snorter exhausts on there it has a little bark to it, so it's nice. 
speaking of bark, you want to, want to do a drive-by on us? We can hear what it sounds like on the road. I know yeah, it's, yeah. I know it's uh, 28 degrees out today, but. <laughs> no, no. When you're riding, you don't notice how cold it is until you're done when your hands are frozen. But yeah, sure, I'd love to do that. You want to put a pair of gloves on first? No, thanks. I'm no, good. you'd rather suffer uh, a little bit? Yeah, I'll suffer. <laughs> it lets you know you're alive. Those are the rides we remember. Yeah, that's right. For sure. All right, so we're going to give this uh, a shot with a Kickstarter. The electric start works beautifully, but I'm going to try the kicker because I like, I'm old school. So it's pretty simple. Some kids these days never even kicked a motorcycle. They're all electric <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. Wait a second. Let's try that again. That was like like me like magic. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That's great, man. <laughs> I got no muscles left. That's just uh, so easy. CD 175 Honda. Kaplan Cycle is your one-stop shop for all vintage and antique motorcycle needs. Call their number up right there or go on our website and we'll get you figured out. Oh, Billy Blight on it. guys like i said kaplan cycles new england motorcycle museum your one-stop shop for all vintage and antique motorcycle needs if you want something call us up 860-454-7024 and we'll get your ironed out figured out if you want cool bikes like that cd 175 we got you god bless america